Heart lifted, back flat, relax your shoulders and your jaw. You're going to take three breaths from your belly and in and out through your nose, okay? Help you center. Help me center. Excellent. Fantastic. Alrighty. Let's start. I'm going to start with a rolling march. So, beside your chair or even seated, whatever you choose here again. Okay. Hands, press your palms together. I'm going to show you what we're going to do. You're going to roll your wrists. Keep your wrists and your palms touching as you roll. Excellent. This is called the Rolling Lotus, if you were curious. Excellent. Bring those palms out front and put them together. So a little bit of a distance away from you. Okay. Bring your arms up. This time, you're going to move your arms side to side. Again, just gently. You're going to try and warm up your or stretch your ribs a little bit and arms. Excellent. Perfect. And bring your hands apart, fingertips up. That's the ticket. Tilt to one side, just your arms, not your body. Excellent. Back to center again. And then the other side. Perfect. Push high, push low. Breathe. Nice. Back to center again. Fingers out. Just want to wiggle them out here. Excellent. We're just going to roll them a little bit. Nice. Try and keep them out there if you can. Change direction. Nice. And bring your palms up, facing the roof, ceiling, sky. Fingertips together to your shoulders. Elbows together. Extend your arms out front. Back to your shoulders. Open up. Out to the side, shoulders, elbows. Don't forget to breathe in and out through your nose if you can. And open and out. Bring your arms all the way down. Fantastic. Just kind of roll that out. As a matter of fact, keep that rolling going. Roll your shoulders here. Again, find what feels good for you today. Fantastic. Change direction around the other way. Excellent. You bring your shoulders down to a rest. Let them kind of reseat for you. Again, we're going to do shoulder rolls, but only one side at a time. Separate them out a little bit. And again, change direction. You should feel those shoulders warming up a little bit or maybe a lot. We're going to shoulder down to a rest. Other side, same thing. Just bring it around. And just kind of notice what's going on as you roll that shoulder. Change direction. Perfect. Bring that shoulder down to a rest. Fantastic. So, Foot into the floor, just a little hip twist here. Again, nothing major, just whatever you do is what you do. And add your arms. Perfect. We're gonna switch legs, so other side. Excellent. And you can hold on to your chair if you need to. The hip is the big part we're working on. Perfect. And back to the other side again. Perfect. Going to change your toe tap to heel. And again, just rock that leg side to side. Hold on if you need to. Okay. And again, not too big, just small movements here. Too big will kind of upset your hip. We don't want that. Perfect. Change legs again. Other foot, side to side. Perfect. 
We're going to say back to your rolling march again. Okay. Hands down by your side. Ah, look, you've got a big barbell in front of you with oh, 50 pounds on it. Sound about right. Elbows tucked. Bring that arm up. Flex your biceps at the top. And then as you lower back down, as soon as your arms are straight, again, flex and back up again. Just imagine how easy it is to work this weighted barbell, imaginary weighted bar barbell. Excellent. Two more. Stay with your breathing. Excellent. Hands down. I'm going to get you just to kind of wiggle your fingers out again. It never hurts to do that. Well, it's not supposed to hurt. It's supposed to just get the idea. Shake that out. All right. So we're just going to st uh, continue on with our um, with the cardio part of this. So feet to the front, heels to the front. All right. I'm going to mess with arms and legs here a little bit. Find yourself. You can sit to do this if you choose. It's still, it's doable this way a little bit. You may have to adjust. Hands push forward. So from your midline. Excellent. Arms are straight. Nice. Perfect. Keep your hands the same. Toe tap out to the side. You don't have to go far. Switching your weight around is good. Perfect. Toe tap out to the back. And we're going to flip our arms around and push back from our midline. Nice. And again, toe tap out to the side. Keep your hands the same. Perfect. And then heels to the front. Don't change your arms. Keep them the same. Nice. Breathe. Excellent. Perfect. All right. Toe tap to the front. Don't need to go far. Hands. Flip them again. We are going to push forward twice. Up twice. And forward and up and forward and up forward and up three more up and two hand up and one and up perfect fantastic bring those arms down and into your march again Okay, so at any time, if you feel thirsty, please take a sip of water. All right. Bring your feet apart a little bit. Toe tap out to the side. Okay. Let your arms roll with your body here. A little bit of a sway. Perfect. Make sure your arms don't go higher than your shoulders. Keep them below. Excellent. Perfect. Bring those arms back down. So, side jack. Whatever side you're leaning away from, that's the arm that comes up. And if you don't know what I mean, it's okay. Do what feels right. You'll get it. Excellent. Bring those arms down again. Fantastic. This time, push across your chest. Don't need to go far. Although deep is okay. Just listen to your body if you do that, okay? Breathe. Excellent. Reach up alternate corners. Like you're reaching for that thing in the corner of the shelf, corner of the cupboard. I don't know who keeps putting it there, but again, back across your chest and push 
Excellent. Nice. Arms down. And again, do a little cross body, low this time. Gentle rotation, and your head follows your shoulders. And you don't need to go far. Gentle rotation. Perfect. And back into that sway again. Perfect. Bring your feet back together. Nice. We're going to do a little step tap here. Excellent. Bring those arms back down again. This time, front and back. Well done. Take a nice deep breath. And into our march again. Well done. Again, you work at your own pace. If you find these get too much, just kind of bow out, come back, keep moving. Just lower that, uh, the hardness of it, or you know, make it easier for yourself. But try and keep moving if you can. All right, we're gonna do some knee ups. And again, work at your own pace. If today your pace is here for your knee ups, stay here. If it's a little bit more, that's good. Just listen to your body. Every day is different. Perfect. Breathe. Keep your heart lifted. Go for your best posture. Excellent. We're going to switch to a hamstring curl. And we're going to push our hands forward to start. And then bring your heels up in behind. That's it. There's your hamstring curl. And if you're holding onto a chair, it's okay. If you're sitting, this is near impossible to do. You stick with the marches. Excellent. Perfect. Back to your knee ups again. Up. Perfect. Breathe. Nice. Back to your march again. Well done. Take a breath. I'm going to have a sip of water. You should too. Try and keep one foot going. Both. All right. Stay with your marching feet, the hands. We're just going to do some punches. I'm going to start with your left arm first, okay? So it goes punch, punch, hook, and uppercut. Punch, punch, hook, up. Try and keep your uh, arms close to your body. Do your little punches and bring them back in. Hook and up. Punch, punch, hook. Punch, punch, hook. Excellent. Punch. Can you stay with the march? <laughs> I know it's a lot. Hook and up. Two more. Punch, hook, and up. Last one. And up. Perfect. Fantastic. Stay with the march if you can. Heart lifted. Nice. This time I'm going to start with your right hand, okay? And again, it goes right, left, right, and left. Okay, jump in when you're ready. Punch, hook, and up. Punch, punch, hook, up. This is a good speed for this. Punch, punch, hook, and up. Three more, hook and up, two, hook and up, last one, punch, hook and up, fantastic. Stay right here, nice work. Let's go for some um, wide and narrow steps, okay? And again, you work at your own pace. I'm gonna start narrow. Count four count here, 
four count wide, four count narrow. You get the idea. Hands will stay the same, just in that march, okay? Soft fists, okay? So like you're holding eggs in your hands. Nice. Okay, count you off. Four, three, two, and one wide. Three, two, and one narrow. Three, two, one wide. Three, two, one narrow. Two, one and wide. Two, one narrow. Two, one wide. Last one here. Two, one <laughs> narrow. We're going to stay right here. Fantastic. Nice work. So let's go with uh, how we go for time. Time is good. Fantastic. I'm going to do a little two step thing, okay? So you can be behind your chair. If you're behind your chair, that's fantastic. You got something to hold on to if you need to as you move side to side. That's a good thing. So we're going to do two steps to one side, two steps back. We'll add in arms as we go along, okay? So first to side. One, two, back. Excellent. One, two, back. Fantastic. This is the easy part. <laughs> and side and back. Add some arms. So one, two, one, two. One, two. So we're just making a little loop de loop with our arms in the middle. Excellent. So nothing fancy here. You can make it as fancy as you like, though. Excellent. Three more. Two. And last one. Out. Back behind your chair. Nice. Into your march again. Shake it out. Well done. Let's just do some windmills, maybe some bigger arm movements here. So again, staying with our march, like breast stroke, some big arm movements here. Again, to your ability and range of motion. Nice deep breath as you bring your hands apart. There's no rush, no number you need to meet. So you work at your own pace here. And I'm doing three more, and two, and one. Fantastic. Bring your arms down, let them kind of shake out. And do some backstrokes. All right. So again, work at your own pace. Watch what's around you. you don't want to bump into anything. Or knock your hand on a chair. Breathe as that arm comes up. Nice deep breaths in. Excellent. Perfect. We're going to change direction. Big scoops. Fantastic. Breathe. And two more. One more. Excellent. Fantastic. Shake that out. Well done. Back into our march again. Let's do a little bit of side action here. Let's just stack your hands on top of each other. Okay, about chest height, it's good. Okay. Stay with your march, tilt your arms. Excellent. And we can make this a little bit more if you choose. We're gonna arm up, arm down. Arm up and down. Up, perfect. Down, two more and one more. Excellent. 
bring those arms hands back together to the midline you're going to switch sides so the other elbow goes up perfect try and keep your torso straight as you can okay arm up and down lower arm down back up and up and down and up and down fantastic i feel my shoulders warming up so i'm sure yours are two more and up that old lactic acid hey eh? just and last one and lower fantastic stack your hands Stack the safe, just push that all the way down. Nice. Shake that out. Perfect. So let your arms kind of hang here for a minute. We're going to go into a cool down anyways. So we'll start with the feet. Okay. Uh, toe tap straight down. I'm going to add your arms again. Again, nothing too crazy. Soft fists, if you're making fists with your fingers. Excellent. A little hip twist in. One pick a leg. Nice. Nice, once everything's warmed up a little bit, everything moves so much better. Excellent. Hip twist out. Excellent. Back to your toe tap straight down again. Excellent. Perfect. And into your rolling march. And just lifting your heels. Right. Perfect. Bicep curls. So tuck your elbows. Hands open this time and open. Perfect. Bring your arms up. Flex. And then all the way down. Don't flex. And up and flex and down. And up and flex and down. Two more. Flex and down. Last one. Flex all the way down. Fantastic. Again, kind of shake that out. Nice. Shoulder shrugs. Need that beat first. Shoulders up and down. Nice and easy. Make sure they're seated. Perfect. Continue on. So up and down. And up and down. Perfect. And up and down. Breathe and up. And down. Perfect. One more. And down. Perfect. Let your shoulders relax. Nice. Roll your wrists. Perfect. And bring those arms up front. And fingertips up. And down. And up. And down. Perfect. And up. And then straight. We're going to reach, grab, and pull. Reach, grab, pull. Reach, grab, pull. Two more. Grab, pull. Last one. Reach, grab, and pull. Fantastic. Bring those arms down again. Shake that out. Nice. Stay with your rolling march. Arm, pick one. We're going to do both one at a time. Raise it up. Excellent. Reach from here all the way up. Nice. Rotate your hand and bring that back down. Nice. Other side, same thing. Up. Reach straight up. Nice, breathe, excellent, 
higher as high as you can nice <laughs> and rotate your palm and bring that arm down nice and easy fantastic uh, dang how many other things we got here rolling march roll fingers I think I'm good with that nothing else we need to add to this I think we're good all right so we're gonna go on to weights if you're using weights great if you're not follow through with the movements anyways get used to the idea of your heart lifted and your arms moving all over okay it's a good thing have a sip of water you can sit or stand for the weights your call all right want your feet about hip width apart okay soft knees okay heart lifted back flat breathe just a couple of breaths here again get centered focus on your body and how you are how you're standing okay we're gonna start with um, lateral raise so it's out to the side both arms at the same time okay so as you lift your arms up exhale no higher than your shoulders and then inhale all the way back down okay I'm gonna do 10 you get to choose how many you want to do and eight exhale as you raise up seven six soft knees check your posture five and four and three two and one fantastic bring those arms down let your shoulders relax when you're doing these weights uh, you're supposed to come to a point where you just oh, I can't make the last one kind of thing okay so you want to it's called uh, going to failure so bring your arms up as high as you can and you want to be able to not make the last one that's when you know you have the right amount of weight okay just saying your call on how that actually works for you right hands uh, let's rotate them I'm gonna do some um, you know, Zotman curls so again hip width apart heart lifted back flattish okay I'm gonna bring those arms up perfect rotate and bring them back down again okay if the rotation doesn't work for you today stick with the regular bicep curl okay rotate down rotate again keep those elbows tucked and up nice sturdy core so your belly button's kind of coming in towards your spine to keep you upright that's good stay with those belly breaths though if you can in and out through your nose it's the most efficient perfect back down again excellent rotate rotate again back down excellent and five rotate down rotate again four rotate exhale as you come up three exhale up for two rotate down last one rotate exhale as you come up rotate come down halfway hold it 
Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. And slowly lower back down. Fantastic. Perfect. Let your arms relax. Well done, by the way. Let's go with um, cross body curl. Okay, again, you're not moving very far here. Soft knees, though. Keep those joints uh, happy. So one arm at a time, your hands are come saw. One arm, you're just bending the elbow and then back down. Other side, same thing. So I'll just turn to the side here and you can see what, how close. I'm not very far away from my body as I bring it up. Excellent. And the other side is the same thing. Okay, get the idea. Excellent. And also, you're not trying to get underneath it. You're trying to keep your body, your core straight. And it's just the arms that are moving here. Except for your diaphragm. And... Excellent. We're down to the last four. Keep breathing. Nice tight core. Two. And one. Bend that elbow. Perfect. And back down. Fantastic. Let your shoulders relax here. Again, take water. Take a sip of water if you want. We're going to push back on this next one. Okay. So again, you want good form. That's so important. Can't stress that enough. Soft knees, heart lifted. You're going to push back. So. Push back as you exhale, and then inhale back to center. So exhale away, inhale back in. Perfect. Keep going. Exhale back. Watch out for the walls and the furniture. So six. Five. Four and three and two and one. Excellent. Fantastic. So I'm going to get you to have a seat. Hang on to those weights if you're using them, of course. I'm going to switch sides again. Switch over to here. I'm going to take those weights and put them on one of your legs. A little bit of more ankle strength and kind of thing, right? Heart lifted. Bring your ankle up or foot heel up. Excellent. And slowly lower it back down. Okay, so raise up and slowly lower it down. So you can put one or two weights on here. It just depends on the strength of your ankles. Of course, you've been standing for the whole time. If you were started standing, this might feel fairly easy. Still, it's a control thing. So getting your uh, control of those muscles, getting them to do what you want them to do, not what they want to do. <laughs> Excellent. We're at five. And four. That heart lifted, breathing in through your nose. And two. And one. Fantastic. Switch sides. Same thing here. So whatever your number was on this leg, you're going to match on this leg. Okay. Nine. Slowly lower that heel down. Eight. You get cramps in your calf, just don't come up as high. Seven. Six. Check your posture. Five. Four. 
three, two, and one. Fantastic. Excellent. You just take those weights and just set them aside. I think we've had enough of those for the day. Have a sip of water. <laughs> Say, watch the weight roll away. Two, three, four. All right. Seated strength part. We've done, we're just flying through all this stuff. Um, let's go with the, come to the back of your chair, the very back of it. You want to lean against the back of the chair, but you want your feet flat on the floor. So wherever that puts you in the chair, if you need to come forward to keep your feet on the floor, do that. Okay. Just kind of lean back into it a little bit. Okay. Lift your heels. Okay. Push back on your chair and you want to lift your front of the chair up just like an inch, hardly anything. I'm going to hold it there. Breathe. Let your shoulders relax. It's all legs here. Now, if you find you get cramps in your calves, again, lower your heels down a little bit. Perfect. Nice. Excellent. All right, slowly lower your heels and the front of your chair back down. Nice. Perfect. And do some big steps out to one side. So you may want to just kind of chair walk your way up to the middle of your chair. Okay. Gives you a little more room to move. So big step out to the side. You're going to match it with the other leg. Perfect. Back to center. Heart lifted. Perfect. I think that's good. We'll stick with that. Uh, in the front, we're going to do a double-legged toe drag. Let me just swap around here. Okay. Again, heart lifted. You about the middle to the front of your chair, somewhere in there. Okay. Again, heart lifted, back flat. Uh, going to take a little steps. So, so a bunch of little steps. Lift your heels and drag your toes back. So tiny steps. Lift your heels, drag your toes. Lift your heels. So baby steps. Lift your heels, drag. Excellent. As far as you can bring them in, lift your heels. Excellent. Two more. And one. Perfect. Fantastic. Just bring your feet back out front again. Nice. Now that we've got the backs of our legs all warmed up, work on the fronts. Okay. We're going to do some uh, squats. Squats. Because we're right at the middle of the chair. Okay. So we're going to come up, but not all the way down. And you're not doing deep squats. It's just nice and easy up and down. Okay. Fire up those thigh muscles. Push into your heels and inhale as you come up. Perfect. Now, as you lower back down into your squat, not sitting down, back, and then all the way back up again. Match your breath to your movement. So exhale down. You're not going to go all the way down. Inhale back up. Notice how your weight shifts to your heels. That's where it should feel. That's what it should feel like. 
That way you know your knees are behind your toes. Okay. You get your chair to catch you. That's my hope for you if you need it. And me too. Inhale up. Perfect. Nice deep breath in. Exhale as you go down. And our last three. You're not doing deep squats. Nice and easy. No more than halfway. And two. And one. Fantastic. Perfect. Uh, we're going to stay standing and I get you to stand beside your chair. Go to balance. Uh, let's do, um, yeah, we're going to do a walk here. So walk from behind your chair. You want to be beside it. You want to be able to hold it as you make two steps forward or three steps. You just have it for help if you need it. Okay. One foot in front of the other, so heel toe. Nice and easy. Get your weight balanced between the two feet and continue that walk. Heel toe, heel toe. Use your chair if you need to. Okay. I encourage you to, to ride without. Take your time though, no rush. Back. Heel toe again if you can. Perfect. One more time, forward forward excellent and back fantastic and just come beside your chair again okay excellent inside legs going to be weight bearing outside do a kick across, like a soccer kick, so straighten your leg, lift your toe, you got it kind of skewed out a little bit, and you're going to do a cross body kick. Right. Again, nice and easy here. Doesn't need to be big. Should actually do big ones and small ones. Just kind of mix it up a little bit. Right. Just kind of notice what's going on in your hip. Excellent. Stop at the back. Stop at the front. Excellent. Test your balance somewhere along the line. Excellent. How's your posture? Get your chin up. Nice. Perfect. That's great. Set that leg down. Nice. Shake that out a little bit. Hips. Outside legs will be weight bearing. Inside leg. We're going to do a Heel to ankle bone, okay? Open that hip up. Start by holding if you need to, okay? If you find this easy to do, again, just lift that toe up. Lift your heart, fantastic. Breathe. I'm going for like a 10 second hold here, in case you were curious. Excellent. Lower your toe down, or bring your foot down and close your, that's the ticket. You shake that out. It's going to go around to the other side. And this one, let's see, we'll do, um, again, heel to toe. I'm just going to turn a little bit so you see a bit better. We're going to do a little bit different one, heel toe. Get yourself in between your foot, your, your feet. You want balance on both feet, right? If you like, you can lift the toes on both just to see that you're planted on both feet and evenly. Excellent. Okay. You know this part. Good. Good, 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 good. I'm going to bring one arm out. Excellent. And again, if you choose, bring that other arm out. 
perfect breathe fantastic look over to one side if you like make sure you're uh, between both feet you want don't want to be too far back or too far forward excellent bring your head back to center nice and then over to the other side and again you can keep that hand down if you need to get used to the idea of moving your head around and staying balanced nice hand down first other arm bring your feet apart perfect shake that out nice uh, inside legs weight bearing the outside leg we do a kick soccer ball kick again um, practice picking that hand up straight leg kind of cocked out to the side a little bit kick that ball excellent and little kicks fantastic breathe kick a couple more and bring that foot back down nice fantastic again just kind of walk your legs out your feet nice outside legs weight bearing this time inside leg we're going to do that rooted tree pose so ankle on your shin <laughs> ankle on your the ball of your foot or the heel heel to ankle thank you heart lifted nice and again if you find this easy and you're not holding on definitely lift that toe up and check play with that a little bit okay heart lifted breathe that's all you need to do here excellent going for the 10 second hold here too excellent Bring that toe down, bring that leg in. Nice. Again, kind of work those hips a little bit. In behind your chair. He's going to do some, uh, we'll do five, six pop ups. Okay. As you come up, you want to come up quickly. Okay. So you can hold on if you like. Try not to, though. Come up, pop up, and then slowly back down. So pop up. And you don't have to go really high. Just a little pop, that's it, and then slowly back down. Three, four, slowly back down, five, and six. Fantastic. Excellent. Perfect. From here, we're just going to do some stretches. Okay, we'll start. Uh, start with the arms first this time so behind your chair give yourself a nice sturdy stance perfect I'm gonna move my chair but you don't okay keep it handy for you nice big stance let's go for uh, hand or hands on your hips perfect and shift your hips to one side first okay find that stretch that works for you here okay then you can open up the ribs lean to one side if you choose breathe if you have to adjust do that belly breaths here keep that tor that core tight excellent on an inhale, bring yourself back up to center. Excellent. Let everything realign. Perfect. And the other side. Okay, so push your hips out first. Then if you choose, you can lean into it a little bit more. Adjust as you need to. And you might need to. And maybe just not my day for this side. There we go. I think sometimes the muscles get confused of what I want them to do. You have to kind of work your way around to get them to do what you want them to do. <laughs> Excellent. 
One more breath here. Perfect. And bring yourself back up to center again. Nice. Let your hips go. And drop your arms down too. Shake that out. Nice. And we'd like to do a little bit of a shoulder one. So bring your arms out to the side, spread your fingers and reach for the walls. Again, if you're holding one hand's holding the chair, that's fine. You're just gonna switch hands somewhere along the line, right? Pick an arm, it's gonna go up, grab your collar. Other hand's gonna come around like a belt or hold your chair. Breathe, nice deep breaths here, nice and even. Excellent. And we want to undo those arms. So nice and gently bring them back out or bring it back out. Spread your fingers again. And the other side. Let's match what you did previously. Perfect. And undo those arms again. Arms back out. Fantastic. Spread your fingers. Lower them down somewhere around here. Perfect. Keep them extended. And you're going to bring your arms back. Find a spot you can hold. Breathe. Notice that stretch across your chest and the contraction of your arms out back, back muscles. Excellent. Gently release that back to center. Nice. And then lower your arms all the way down. Nice. Perfect. Clasp your fingers in front. Rotate your palms. Push forward nice and easy. Lift your heart. Breathe. Even fingers and arms need stretching. Excellent. Gently rotate your palms back to your chest. Fantastic. Wiggle your fingers. Let your shoulders relax. Perfect. Fantastic. Well, I think that's good. Nice, easy bend here. Cross your arms, inhale up, and exhale back down. Inhale up, exhale back down. Last one, inhale up. Just your arms this time. Perfect, fantastic, well done. Great Friday. <laughs>